Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can build your connection string very simple. And I will also show you how you can find your server name, this one from your SQL server management. So to build a connection string, you need to go to your app config. In the app config, you need to add a connection string. So all you have to write is like this, your connection strings, and it builds an XML for you. In this connection string, we will create an add element. And this add element, we need to give it a name. And the name can be whatever you want. But uh, to, to call this um, element, we're going to call this name. So the best approach will be to call it the same name as your database name. And after that, we're going to build the connection string. In the connection string, we need something called server. And we also need something called database. Let me do like this. And after that, we're going to tell, in, uh, tell uh, the connection string how to connect to the data database. So should you log in or use trusted connection? Trusted connection means that uh, the current logged in user will be logged into the database. So the access you have uh, as a current logged in user, you will have the same access in the database. And then we're going to tell it the provider name, uh, but we'll take the last. So the connection string, to find the server name, all we have to do is go to the SQL pseudo management and just write to, uh, let's just select, and it's called server name, like this. And it will give you the server name of the current database. So I'm in the current database called learning. In this learning database, it is in the server called this. So I just copy this name here. I place it in the server here. And the database is called learning, as I showed you guys before. And we're going to use trusted, trusted connection equal true. And uh, the provider name is what kind of a database is it? And it's a SQL client if you're using um, if you're using uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So the provider name, you can write it, provider name is equal to system.data.sql client. And that is all you need to connect to your database. Thank you for watching. See you at the next tutorial.